hello. I'm Indy. Yeah. Uh, okay, so what do that mean exactly? You got Indian in your family? Is you Cherokee? Like, what's your tribe? Let's talk. <laughs> I need for you to listen clearly. Look. I said I'm Indy, not Indian. Anyway, look, let me tell you what Indy means. I'm a strong, independent artist. Yeah. You thought I was finna say woman, right? But now, look, I'm pretty girly. Anyway, I like a manly man. I like the mouthfuls. Anyway, I'm a strong, independent artist. Yeah. Look, that means I'm a strong, unsigned producer and songwriter. Yeah. But what did that really mean, Bubble? Like, what did I sign up for? Look, we need to go ahead and go into the episode now because you didn't even know what you signed up for. Matter of fact, when you indie, you didn't even sign up for it, but you got to run through it. Anyway, let's go. When you talk money, I can hear you. I hear money. What you say now? When you talk money, I can hear you. What? You ain't got money, that's cold blue. When you talk money, I can hear you. I hear money. Hey, hey, yeah. Bubble on deck. I'm your host, Tamara Bubble. Good. Stop acting like you don't know. Bubble on deck. Like, we're going to say it like we mean it. Yeah. I'm your host, Tamara Bubble. Yeah. AKA, I hear money coach. AKA, your favorite sync superstar. Yeah, I'm out here winging it and bringing it. Look, no notes this episode. I hope I don't forget nothing. But I ain't going to, how can I forget to be indie? I eat, sleep, and breathe indie. Anyway, we talking about independence this episode. But look, stop playing. You know it's skin 30. You know what time it is. It's subscribe time. I need for you, first of all, come through with the five-star review. Yeah. Look, all them fingers. I need every star for every finger you got. Anyway, just do that one time for the podcast in general. Yeah. Look, go, 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 go. look got me stuttering. Go, 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 go. Come through with that. Look with that subscribe, hit that button, turn on them notifications. Go ahead and share, like, comment. Look, share your favorite episode. Matter of fact, share this, share this episode to an indie artist. Cause they be out here thinking, look, I'm indie. I'm a strong independent artist. And they be out here thinking like, that's cute. It is it gets real cute until you find your job description. Yeah, you out here using them words and you don't know what all it entails. Anyway. Share the episode with a strong independent artist and make sure they out here not looking real weak. Okay. Not looking real unprepared to be independent anyway. Uh, We're going to get into this episode real quick, but I just had to let you know that it was subscribe time. I also have to let you know that this podcast was created with four goals in mind. Yeah. Okay. The first goal is to save you money in your music business, in your sync business. Look, if you want your music to thrive you're gonna need a sync business anyway this podcast gonna show you the way to say that money look because when you're making money with sync ain't nobody trying to be giving it all to uncle sam so i'm gonna hook you up i'm gonna help you out oh look i already know the deadline for individual taxes is already passed but it don't matter because look I wrote a book called Sync Biz Tax Deductions, and it's it's usable year round. I know what you're thinking. Oh, taxes is over with. Why is she still talking about this little book? This because you could be saving money. You could be planning and strategizing so you don't got to pay next year. You got played this year. You wasn't prepared in 2022, and you had to give up all your money to Uncle Sam on his birthday last week in 2023 let me tell you you could be planning there's a thing called tax planning there's a thing called tax strategy i need to know i need to let you know that sync biz tax deductions it's available exclusively on the sync superstar academy anyway look you can be planning all year long you can learn what it takes to do throughout the year so that when tax season roll around look you're looking around like (laughs) oh y'all got y'all owe people money y'all owe uncle sam some money i don't owe him no money i only owe him a little bit anyway (laughs) look anyway the second goal of this podcast is to make you more money in music last and see and that's a, look this this the goal this the whole goal i'm trying to activate superstars out here you got to make more money in order to superstar in these sync streets anyway third goal is to transform your mindset look, this episode i think it is a mindset episode i think it's kind of like mindset but then also you just might be ignorant to the facts okay so it's kind of mindset but it's kind of i gotta put you on game so you know what you're saying when you're calling yourself 
Indy. Okay, anyway. <laughs> and you strong anyway. <laughs> yeah, you tripping. Um the fourth goal, look, when you saving money, when you making more money, when your mind is right, your superstar going to be activated. That's goal number four in these streets. Activate your superstar. There's a challenge, the 24-hour sync superstar challenge, when you really trying to get on game. But in the meantime and in between time, look, this podcast dropping every Monday and Thursday. Like, look, come through and listen like you know what to do. Anyway, the, sp- the uh, episode, the podcast, all of that for right now, every single episode. It's sponsored by the Sync Superstar Academy. Visit SyncSuperstar.com. Yeah. Look, and I got to throw a little disclaimer before we get into the episode too. Look, because I got to tell you, even though we might not be talking about taxes this episode, we might not be talking about legal stuff this episode. Every single episode is my personal opinion. Like, it's just what, but it's, look, it's what's up in my brain. <laughs> it's what's up in my head. Look, it's just what I'm thinking. And I'm just saying, I'm just like, bleh, you know, spitting it out. And look, sync game, free sync game. That's all this is. Don't don't take it for more than what it is. This is not your tax, business, or legal advice. Not professionally, anyway. I need you to know Bubble know what she talking about. Yeah. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and get into the show. You talk money, I hear you. I hear money. What is that? Okay, now look. Can we can we talk about this independence? Let me let me scooch. Let me scooch a little closer. Cause we finna t- look. We finna get intimate about independence. And you know what I'm finna do? Cause like, I wanna I want you to really understand what it means to be an independent artist. When you saying them words, whether you signed up for this job or not. I want you to know what the job description requires in order for you to be thriving and not just surviving. Okay, we're not trying to be struggling artists. We're not trying to be starving. We're trying to be superstar. Okay, even if we independent. Look, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off. I'm going to move outside of music a little bit for this. Look. Just for a little while. I don't want to stay out there too long. But sometimes when I break stuff down just in music terms, folks be in the comments and looking around and talking about some like, what is a publisher? And who is a PRO? And y'all just be not under no y'all just be not understanding and not knowing. And it's okay. This is the breakdown podcast. I'm gonna break it bricky bricky down. Anyway, I feel like the best way for me to start this episode off is just to talk about a a strong independent woman because look people be out here hyping that term up like it's normal like it's good now let me tell you something let me f- first let me disclaim on that let me just pause let me uh, real quick because an independent woman is good so the babies don't starve but let me tell you what it is when you got to be a strong independent woman or let's just talk single parent. OK, if you are strong, independent, single mother, a strong and look, they don't even say strong, independent, single father because they already expect the man to be strong. They really use it for women. Right now, let me tell you why they doing that. Because when you talk about a strong, independent, single mama, that means that she out here doing the job of mommy and daddy. Okay, so let's just let's just throw that out there. She's doing everybody's job so that them kids don't starve, right? Look, now I, it's gonna make sense real quick. Just stop, let's stop, don't rush me. Okay, I got to break it down how I break it down. Anyway, um, you just take notes, get your pencil and your pad, and get the understanding, get the superstar. Anyway, right? So you got the strong, independent mama, right? And she got these kids. Somebody got to feed these kids. Now, if daddy ain't around for whatever the reason, okay. She ain't got no stepdaddy. She got to do it on her own. She got to go look, go get the studying at night. Uh, look, she she don't get no sleep. She ain't slept four days. Okay. Look, she got three jobs. Uh, she got 33 jobs. Anyway, she out here overworking, underpaid, underappreciated, and don't nobody know. And ain't nobody reaching out. Okay, look, she got to do it on her own to feed these kids. Somebody got to feed these kids. Now, the reason why I say this is because it's because she's independent, meaning she doing everything on her own. Okay, so now when you say, 
let, let me let me let me go ahead and connect the dots because I think y'all are a little confused right now. When you said I'm a strong independent artist, I want you to know you got to be doing everything. Look, let me say it clearly because I didn't say it clear the last time. Let me say it slower. You got to do everything. Okay, that the major artists on these labels and publishing deals is not doing okay look let me tell you something it pays to be signed to a late look no it don't because they be robbing you but anyway <laughs> look i just had to say there's benefits to be signed to a label and to a publisher because they be doing a whole lot of work that these artists didn't realize they had to do until they was unsigned. Look, before, back in the olden days, back in the wiggity way backs, okay, back, back of them couple of decades ago where you couldn't make music commercially unless you was on a label, okay, when that was the only way to get heard in these streets. It didn't matter. Everybody had a bad deal, right? But when there was another way, you could just go straight to the people. Look, go ahead and get you some distribution real quick. Go pay you a 99 cent, 9.99 and get that album out there. Once there was another way, there was a lot of, look, there was a lot of services that artists was providing, that labels were providing, that artists didn't realize labels was out here doing. Okay, so now I'm going to try to tell you really quickly what all they was doing because i what i want you to what i want to tell you is that a strong independent artist is not normal okay look you you had help because you needed it i'm trying to tell you now it's a lot of work for the independent artists yeah you wasn't aware when you say you were independent artist let me tell you what you is you is your marketing department yeah you got to pay for everything too i forgot to tell you that not only is you all these job descriptions about to run off, you got to pay for all of it anyway. You your marketing department, you your label, yeah, you your publisher, you your administration, yeah. Look, you your executive assistant, you sending out all the emails, you doing, you're doing everything. You your graphic artist, you your website builder, yeah. You, look, you your mix master recorder, look, engineer, look, look how many jobs you want, you got them all. You wanted to do it, you independent, yeah, you strong, you can do it, you can do all of it. I'm just trying to tell you now, you your DJ, you your street promo, you your PR, you your journalist, you your blogger, yeah, you your email list, like you got to keep in touch with your fans, you your social media promoter, look, there's more work, I'm tired, of I need some water right now, I'm a little parched talking about all the work you got to do, I'm trying to tell you, you got to do it all yourself, or you got to pay somebody else to do it, I'm trying to tell you when you had a label, a lot of this work was being done for you. When you had that publisher, a lot of this work was being done for you. Yeah, you your own scheduler. You got to make your own appointments, your own look, collaboration appointment. Look, you got to do everything and you got to make music. Did I mention you still an artist? <laughs> look, I forgot to tell you. You still got to make your own beats. You still got to write your own songs. You still got to be your own artist. You just got all that other work. That the labels and the publishers and those other people that was doing the work when you were signed was doing back in the day. Look, now you got to do it all yourself. And I'm just here to tell you that look, it's a lot of work. Don't be out here thinking it's easy. Don't be out here thinking you don't need no help. But I'm just, look, the reason why I, I mentioned that single parent earlier, look, because I'm trying to tell you there's a single parent for the indie artist. There's some help and some support. For that single parent in the artist. Look, you got music out here with some collaborators. They're not pitching. They're not doing no work. They're not, look, your, your music baby starving. So somebody got to work three, four, five jobs to get these music heard. So you know what you got to do? You need to go, look, you need to go get you a step daddy. You need to go get you a sink baby daddy. Yeah. <laughs> look, you need to go get, look, sink, let me tell you something. Sink going to do your marketing sync gonna get you. look I, I didn't even mention some of these jobs i'm about to mention them right now what sync fitting to do sync gonna get your streams up sync gonna be your stream and your playlist promoter look sync gonna handle all your marketing sync gonna bring your money sync paying your music child support understand it look sync gonna get you on the radio if you blow look when you get that superstar i'm sync gonna take you to radio i'm trying to tell you sync gonna put you on tv 
Yeah, Sink gonna go find your fans. Sink gonna market to them. Sink gonna tell them to go listen to your music. Look, now Sink ain't gonna do every little single thing. You got to d- still do a few couple of things. You still got to do a couple of things. But I'm trying to tell you, Sink gonna let Sink gonna do a lot of this work for you. Yeah, and the reason why earlier when we were talking about baby mamas, baby daddies, single mama, step parents, all that stuff, and them babies out there that somebody got to do something, it's because an independent woman. Look, this is out of necessity. Somebody got to feed these kids. But if if you think that she won't the struggle, if you think that she won't to be up to four a.m. studying so she can finish her degree, she'd rather be in a, a a healthy, normal relationship with baby daddy, so that somebody could help her take care of these kids. Independence is a badge of honor, but it's not normal. It's not what you should be striving for. I'm trying to tell you now. Sink gonna be your baby daddy. Look, look, if you a single father, Saint gonna be your music baby mama. Yeah. All the all the checks gonna come in. The checks are gonna clear. Okay, Saint gonna send you pampers for your music babies. I'm just look. I don't know if I'm helping you or confusing you, but it made sense to me in my head. And my head was like, go ahead and tell them, girl. <laughs> yeah, anyway. When you independent. There's a lot required. I'm trying to tell you, I don't even know that you could do with yourself. It's a whole lot. You need a whole lot of money. I'm trying to tell you, Sink will give you a whole lot of money. So I keep on telling you that I done gave you the problem. I done told you what's wrong. Okay. And the, let me tell you this too, because even though you uh didn't sign up to be independent, the fact that you're unsigned, you just... Uh, 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 what is it called? Invisibly signed up to be it. When you unsigned, you signed up for all these jobs until you get a label to take over a lot of this work for you. You just can't sit back and just make music. And if you do, it's just going to sit on your hard drive. It's just going to sit on your laptop. Okay. It's just going to sit there and starve. Okay. Your music babies are starving. Somebody got to get out there and do these other jobs. Okay. Now you're not on a label. You're not signed to a publisher. You got to do some of this work. Some of this work to exploit this music. Yeah. Anyway, some of this work to distribute this music. And I'm trying to tell you now, Sync is the best distributor that you're going to find. Cause they're going to put it out there worldwide. When you get these placements, they're going to put it on a, a, a movie, a uh, uh, inside a movie that's gonna play in every theater it's gonna put it on a tv show that's gonna play on every tv i'm trying to tell you the solution is sync now i got a little bookie book yeah it's the first book that i ever wrote it's called from sync to superstar it's strategy baby yeah it's available everywhere but i'm trying to tell you now about this audio book because look ain't nobody got time to be taking five thousand hours to read things to understand things look it's 2023 i need you to get the information real quick and go ahead and start superstarring so we got the audio book i used to have it on audible but i have to mention this i pulled it from audible it is exclusively available at the sync superstar academy here's why because people was reading the audiobook and it was like bubble i love this book i hear these gems but it sounds like the ends is clipped off and i'm trying to tell you look when i recorded it because i narrated the book it was recorded correctly i don't know what audible did i don't audible couldn't hear it okay audible can't hear money so I had to pull my little bookie book from there. Anyway, the full audio, the correct audio, ain't no clippy clips and choppy chops. Okay, you're going to hear everything. And you know what else you're going to do? Because <clears throat> it's an audio workbook, okay? The audio is exclusively available at the Sync Superstar Academy, but it comes with a workbook. You go ask. You can ask questions. I'm Look, we're teaching the people. We're training the people in 2023. You're not going to read this book and to be like, but what about this, Bubba? Go ahead and ask me the question. I'm going to answer it right in the book. Anyway, um, lifetime access. So you're not going to need to buy no another update. You're not going to need version 27. I'm just going to put video updates right in the book. Yeah. Um, And that's it. Look, go ahead and get it. SyncSuperstar.com. You're looking for sync from sync to superstar. Audiobook 
training. Okay. Audio book plus Q and a training. All right. So, um, yeah, look, go ahead and be indie. But I'm trying to tell you now, sync going to help you. Sync going to be your baby daddy. Sync going to bring you some child support for your music babies. Look, sync going to be your step mama, your sugar mama, your baby daddy, your step daddy, everything. It takes a village to raise a child. I should say that too. Cause like, even when it's a two parent home, you still be needing grandma to watch some kids. Sometimes you still be needing other help. If you're an independent artist out here, you're going to need other help. You're going to need your collaborators helping. But look, even if nobody don't help, I'm trying to tell you, Sync going to do a whole lot of work for you. Bubble on deck. Look, if you're broke, don't talk to me. I said if you're broke, you can't talk to me. Hey. Oh.